I want to just go ahead and apologize. <clears throat> and um, I made my um, presentation called Black Egypt Debunked. And I see it hurt a lot of feelings. I went over to Ankh of the Amin Ra Squad's page today and seen I was finally blocked. <laughs> Just couldn't take So I see a lot of people were in their feelings about the video A lot of people acting like it don't exist I did it again so, You know what So I just want to apologize Because I know a, a, a lot of people's feelings got hurt And let me tell you what I want to apologize for Like um, Conor McGregor said I want to apologize for absolutely nothing <laughs> Fuck your feelings <laughs> Niggas finally blocked me today And just so happened that video went out Yesterday Everybody That I Dedicated the video to Everybody that I made a challenge to Has disappeared They running Freaking out right now Dr. Reggie had no response. I dedicated to him. Sanetter has no response. The Amin Ra Squad has no response. Because guess why? I made sure that I dropped total daggers and I showed everything that I spoke of. I proved every point I've made. I proved every point I've spoke on in a video since the beginning of this year. And everyone knows it. Just read the comments. They said I exposed the entire conscious community. Not one or two niggas. <laughs> I dropped a bomb on the entire building. The building went up in flames. It's over. The whole tough hustle is over. Now niggas gonna continue the whole tough hustle. Those are the disingenuous ones. Those are the ones who can't get over the fact that Xavier, Chief X, turned their whole world upside down, snatched their belief from them, and replaced it with the truth. That's what happened. Now, video only got 1.1 thousand views because I don't have a lot of followers. And you cowardly niggas won't share it everywhere because you don't want to upset your friends. You know, people are scared of their social media friends. I'm restricted on Facebook, so I can't share it on my Facebook page or in groups. Or it would have 7,000 views. <laughs> but I'll be off restricting and sharing it everywhere. And everyone will see that video. And everyone will change. I told you I'm remodeling this shit. And everything I said is coming to fruition. People are scared to death to push Egypt right now. It's not the time. <laughs> it's the wrong time. Guess why it's the wrong time? Because Chief X, Chief X is on the war path and nobody want to get in the goddamn way. Tony Browder, I challenged him five, six months ago. Not him, nor any one of his students or anyone who agrees with him, he's down with him, will touch that video. Shaking in their boots. You know when a motherfucker call you out for some egregious misinformation, or some egregious, an egregious foul you did, a flagrant foul too, when you Photoshop a picture and teach that this picture was real in Egypt and you get exposed, you get quiet. Nobody wants to touch that. Go look at my video. Challenge to Anthony Browder. And ask me, has anyone in the community touched that challenge? Nah, they ain't. Ain't nobody touching that video I put down last night. That motherfucker was cold-blooded. And everyone knows it. Just read the comments. Black Egypt debunked by Chief X. So, y'all talking all that shit. Chief X don't know nothing. I turned it upside down. You niggas are scared. 
See, that's why they didn't take that debate. I'm on Sonetters challenging and giving people $300. Please debate me. Here's $300 for an hour and a half. Please. Nobody took it. Unc, two months later, acted like he wanted that debate, challenged me. Him and Sonetta got to talking that shit on Sonetta TV. And guess what? Sonetta happened to call me and put me on. And I told the real story. And they had to eat cheese. And they was, it, it was proven that they lied to the people about Chief X. And then I said, let's go. I want that debate after they called me on a live stream. And they fronting, fronting and faking like they want the debate and trying to play this role and mind game to the people. Like, yeah, we'll chat. And guess what? I text Sonetta two days later. I want the debate. What's up? I text Unc. He didn't respond. I put the presentation. No response. They scared. They all mad and bothered because I exposed the Kimmet bullshit. And these niggas got comedic names. So they're too deep. Since once you got a comedic name, you feel internally embarrassed, so you try to make it disappear what Chief X did. <laughs> it's not disappearing. I ain't going nowhere. I'm on y'all asses. Oh, y yeah, matter of fact, I'm on my on y'all asses to the casket drop. I'm not stopping just this year. All this shit will be torn up and thrown in the motherfucking trash. I'm the elder today, and I'm not having it. I don't give a fuck what these other cowards was talking about and did and wouldn't say and wouldn't correct. Not You guys are supposed to be truth seeker, and not one person ever uh, um, 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 challenged Dr. Ben's teaching. That's how you know it's a cult. When you have all these intellectuals agreeing with falsehood, hundreds of intellectuals, grown men, People with degrees and stuff over all these years and, and these cats never challenged Dr. Ben's teachings of ancient Egypt being black. Black man of the Nile and shit like that. That means it's a cult. And Dr. Ben is the cult leader. It's an unwritten, like an unwritten rule. The comedic conscious community is cultish and is a cult. And everyone who thought black Egypt Egypt was a black land and built by black, nappy, kinky-haired people like you were the cult members. I used to be a cult member. Look. I used to be a cult member. I'm just not a cult member today. But my journey, my intellectual journey... Is on me and I have no problem with it. It's my journey in life. And how I thought and how it was. My son got tattoos of his old football teams and cities and shit that he was down with. That he's not down with today, but it was his journey. It was a part of his life. I don't have no shame in it. You niggas got shame. <laughs> I'm just mad I fell for the bullshit But guess what Chief X evolves cl quicker than most You niggas still stuck in the quagmire I moved on And was more aware Than you And I got out the burning house I warned y'all to get out the burning house a lot of y'all disobeyed my orders. And you stayed in the burning house. And now you got second degree burns all over your fucking body. But it's because you didn't take heed to wisdom. You didn't take heed, heed to the new sheriff in town. It's a new sheriff in town. And he goes by the name of Chief X. And all will bend the knee. Ha <laughs> ha!